Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillahi Rabbil alemin. Ve salatu ve selamu ala seyyidil mursalin. Ama ba'd. <coughs> to continue from yesterday, um, just with the narrations that we mentioned, today will be a little bit shorter. Um, but um, the author he mentions that um, Suleyman, he mentions that he heard from Malik ibn Dinar that he says Rahimallahu abdan qala li nafsihin nafisa that may Allah have mercy on such a person who says to his desires, says to, his, says to himself and we all value ourselves, we all value our beings, we all value our lives and everything so he says to himself and nafisa as in such a self who we all value, we all hold in high regard. So, قَالَ لِنَفْسِهِ النَّفِيسَ أَلَسْتَ صَاحِبَةً كَذَا أَلَسْتَ صَاحِبَةً كَذَا Are you not such a person who done so and so or who done so and so? أَلَسْتَ صَاحِبَةً To take account and to ask yourself a question that did you not do X, Y and Z? Did you not do this? D isn't it that you done this yesterday? Or within the last few hours you done this or you said these words or you ate this thing or you ate too much or you said this thing to somebody else which you shouldn't have said or while you were praying where were you what were you thinking about while you were praying all of these kind of questions um, he asks and then he carries on to say thumma dhammaha thumma khatamaha thumma alzamaha kitab Allah fakana laha qaida and then after asking all of these very relevant questions that how come you done this how come you done this how come you said this after asking itself accounting for itself asking all these questions then dhammaha then it tells himself of khatamaha it tries to rebuke itself completely and then after the alzamaha he tries to realign himself with the kitab of allah he looks at what the quran wants him to do he reminds himself of what allah has commanded him to do what it is that he's meant to be doing and then fakana laha qaida and then he honestly follows this thing this is the first narration. The second narration from Maymun bin, Minhar, uh, bin Mihran radiallahu anhu. He says, قال التقي أشد محاسبة لنفسه من سلطان عاصي ومن ومن شريك شحيه. Again, very similar to the narration we had yesterday. That a person who is who has taqwa, uh, Maymun bin Mihran, he describes a person of taqwa, a person who has the fear of Allah, the true person who has fear of Allah. He says, it is he who is ashaddu muhasaba. He takes more account of himself than a sultan an asi, a king who looks over some of the people that run the country for him. The way he looks over them, he, a person who is proper taqwa, he looks after himself more. He asks himself more. He asks himself more questions about the way that he spends his day. And also, like we mentioned yesterday, min sharik in shahi, from a partner who's very, very stingy. That a person who is very careful about every penny that goes out, every pound that goes out. And when his partner overspends in that money, when a person has accounts and somebody else has access to those accounts, every single pound that's spent from there, he'll look at it very, very carefully. So this is how, uh, uh, this is how the scholars, they describe the person who has taqwa, he'll be very, very careful with himself. And the final narration from Ibrahim at taymi he says that مَثَّلْتُ نَفْسِي فِي الْجَنَّةِ that I imagine myself in Jannah. This is what he says about himself. مَثَّلْتُ نَفْسِي فِي الْجَنَّةِ أَكُلُ ثِمَارَهَا وَأَشْرُبُ مِنْ أَنْحَارِهَا وَأُعَانِكُ أَبْكَارَهَا Eating from the fruits and uh, drinking from the rivers of Jannah وَأُعَانِكُ أَبْكَارَهَا And spending time with the people, with the females, with the virgins of Jannah. And then he says, ثُمَّ مَثَّلْتُ نَفْسِي فِي النَّارِ Then I also imagine myself in Jahannam. أَقُلُ مِنْ زُكُّومِهَا Eating from zukum is the food of Jahannam. Many different understandings of what kind of food it is. أَشْرَبْ مِنْ صَدِيدِهَا Drinking from sadid literally means pus. So as we know, the drink which will be given will be blood and pus and this kind of stuff. So he says, I imagine myself in Jahannam, eating the food of Jahannam, drinking the food of Jahannam. And engaged, I imagine myself engaged within the punishments of Jahannam. Then I فَقُلْتُ لِنَفْسِي أي شيء إن تريدين؟ I imagine myself in that condition in Jannah, having the blessings, and in Jahannam having the punishment. And then I ask myself that أي شيء إن تريدين؟ What is it that you want? I say to my nafs that if I was in Jahannam, what would I say to myself? And if I was in Jannah, what would I say to myself? And then قالت and then I imagine that my nafs at that point would say to me أن أرد إلى الدنيا. I wish that I could be returned to the dunya. 
فَأَعْمَلْ صَالِحًا And I would do good deeds. قَالْ قُلْتَ فَأَنْتَ فِي الْأُمْنِيَّةِ فَأْمَلِ And then he said that, so I say to my nafs, أَنْتَ فِي الْأُمْنِيَّةِ that desire that you'd have at that time, in, Jah in Jahannam, the desire you'd have to change your life and come back to the world, right now you are in that desire of yours. You are in that thing which you'd wish to change so much. Right now you're there. So he says, Anta fil umniya. Right now you're in there. Fa'mali. So do actions which afterwards, when you do end up in Jannah or Jahannam, you won't regret what you've done. So these are, these are the few narrations. There's a lot of tafsir, inshallah. We'll cover the Quran ayat which come as the muhakkik. He mentioned that he'd bring verses of the Quran to elaborate on these narrations which he brings. So inshallah from tomorrow we'll touch on this. Uh, tomorrow, today had to be a little bit shorter, but inshallah from tomorrow we'll elaborate on how the Quran also talks about these kind of things. So may Allah give us all the ability to understand and act upon what has been said.